Hey guys, I'm back again. I've got my Timba BYOB 10. I've already done a video reviewing this bag. I like this bag. It works well for me. Um, just a quick review. I've got a Canon 80D. I've got three lenses in here. I've got a Sigma 70-300, a longer telephoto lens. I've got a wide-angle lens at 10-18, uh, to 18, the Canon EFS lens, and I also have the Kit 18-55 to 55 lens in here, plus a whole bunch of uh, filters, batteries, miscellaneous stuff, some lens cleaning stuff, all that kind of stuff. It all fits well in here and it works great. So my daughter for Christmas has been doing a lot of filming with her YouTube channel and we decided to get her a camera for Christmas and Canon had the Canon T7i on sale. So we got her one of those and she said she wanted a case like this as well. But she said she wants something a little smaller because she didn't have all the stuff that I've got. She just pretty much has the camera and a kit lens that came with it. So looking into that, we ended up ordering her the 10 BYOB 9. And I got to thinking about it. The last couple of hikes I've been on, where I actually use this as a camera bag insert for my hiking backpack that I carry in with me, this, you know, this does take up a good bit of space, right? But I found out my long lens, I just never use it on this hike. So I'm always using the kit lens or the or the 10 to 18 wide angle, super wide angle lens for the shots when I'm on these backpacking trips. So anyway, I started thinking, I said, well, for some of these trips, if I know I'm not going to take the long lens, maybe the BYOB 9 would be a better fit. And kind of, if you compare them, this is what you're looking at here. So this is the 10, this is the 9. So there's quite a bit of difference between the two. You can see that here, okay? Constructed the same way, same type of setup, zipper lids, pouches on the back, pouches on the front, pouches on the sides. And we'll just take a look. She has a Canon T7i with just the kit lens. And I'll show you a little bit how it packs into here. And then what I want to do is take a look at my stuff and see how much I'm able to put into this bag to see if I could utilize a smaller bag when I'm on these backpacking trips. Because when you're backpacking and you're loading up like this on these trips, you, every bit of weight makes a difference. And if I don't have to carry my long lens and I can carry it in this bag, this bag obviously weighs less than this bag. So it all kind of takes a little bit of weight off. I know it doesn't seem like much, but when you're on a three-day hike, you know, up in the mountains, every ounce counts. So we'll take a look at this, what she has in here first, empty it out, and then take a look at that. So in her bag, if we unzip it here, the way she packs it is she carries along the camera charger. I'm going to just open, pop the camera charger in here. She has her camera in here, but she so far she has not kept the lens on it when she keeps it stored. So she just had the camera slid down in this bag, and you can kind of see how much room you have in there. And then what she's done is she's taken her lens, and she just made this a little flap here, and so her lens is in there as well. So her lens is sitting down in here. So that's pretty much all she has packed in the bag. Again, this is the T7i, and that's all she has in there. Now, she does have some room for some more than what she has. She does have room to put some filters in here if she wants. She's got room to put a cleaning cloth up here, a cleaning pen, memory cards, batteries in the side. So there's room for all that stuff. But right now, she's just done the camera and the one lens, and that's about it. So let me, let's open up my bag and just compare the size of the cameras because the 80Ds are slightly bigger than the T7i and then we'll see what I can pack in here and my goal is can I get what I need in this bag without the long lens so let's take a look at that real quick. Alright, didn't want to bore you with actual unpacking but here's everything I had in my bag Okay, this is my long lens, just got the, the hood on it um, so most of your, your standard, you know, on the low end your 7300 is going to be about this size when they're retracted and I've got my 10-18 to kit lens on the camera I've got three different filters. This is for my wide angle lens, these are for my other lenses. Some batteries. I got my shutter release. Got a camera card. Usually I've got two of these, but I got a, for some reason it's not in the bag right now. A lens cleaning pen and a cloth for a cleaning. So that was all in this bag. All right. So what I want to do now is see what I can fit into the BYOB 9 and see how it goes. But what's important to me is I want to have my camera in the bag with a lens on it because I want to be able to grab it out of the bag and go. I don't want to have to put the lens on everything else when I'm ready to do something. So we're going to take a look at what my options are and, uh, and see what it will look like, what my different combinations are. So we'll go from there with this stuff, go into that bag. Like I said, I don't think it will all fit, but we'll see what combinations we can fit in that BYOB. All right, real quick before we start loading up, just to compare the camera sizes, this is a T7i, this is a Canon 80D. So the T7i is a little bit smaller. You can see that from here. And I'll show you some uh, different views here of it from this view you can see the can AD is a little bit bigger not a whole lot bigger though all right not a whole lot bigger but it is slightly bigger if I go back to back you can kind of get an idea there side to side okay so there is a little bit of difference in the cameras and we're gonna go ahead and see what we can do with this and like the other bag you get a lot of these inserts that come with it 
some flaps, okay, that you can kind of customize. So I'm going to customize it for my ADD, see if it'll fit, and so see if we can get in there. I was able to pack everything in this bag except for my long lens. I'm going to look at a different configuration if I just wanted my long lens. Uh, that's possible. We'll check that in a few minutes. But again, this is the ADD with this lens, and I really don't think if I step down to the T7i, I still don't think I'm going to have room for this long lens, and they're just not going to fit. Again, this bag is advertised for a compact DSLR. The ADD is not necessarily compact DSLR, okay? T7i is a little smaller, but basically, and I'll be honest with you, with two lenses in here now, I feel like it's really tightly packed, and it's stuffed in there pretty good. So I might consider taking this on a hiking trip like this, barring my daughter's bag. Hopefully you won't need it the same weekend kind of thing. But I do have room for my bigger filter in the back. I got two battery packs over here. I've got uh, two filters up in the front. And then when I unzip it, I've got camera cards, cloth cleaners in here. And this is the way I packed the camera in here. So I had some room for the camera strap. Basically, I'm going to pull my camera right out with the kit lens on. Down on the bottom I had the, the lens cleaning pen and my cable release. And then underneath the flap I carried my 18 to, or 10 to 18 lens in here. So I'm going to look at another configuration with a long lens, see if I can get it to work with somehow uh, if I just do one lens and a long lens. Occasionally I go shooting wildlife, of which case I pretty much just stick with my long lens. And so in that case, what I've done is I put the camera in the bag in this fashion. I still have room. I could have put my cable release in there. I could have done that in the lens pad. I just didn't stick it in there, but that would have fit in here. If I pull this out, that's basically my camera with the long lens attached. So it's a tight fit, but I do feel like it's got a good uh, snug fit to it. My camera pops out, and really that's just a space for the lens to sit on down there. There's nothing underneath that, but I could have you know, fit a couple batteries in there if I wanted to underneath, that, underneath this flap right down here. But pretty much what I've deduced is in the BYOB 9, you're going to be able to do that, and that's the only lens you're going to take in the bag. That's just how it's going to be. So you can put a long lens on there as, long, as soon as it, it, it's compact. It says this is, I mean, this is an exact fit right here. So it's going to depend on the length of your lens. Well, basically, you can do it one lens, but you're not going to get a kit lens and a long lens in this bag. So if, you, if, you, if you're going to a dedicated long lens place, and that's all you're going to use, this will work in a pinch to bring you out there. Uh, uh, to work for you, but otherwise you'll really need the BYOB 10 to fit everything in. So that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed watching it, and hopefully you got something from this. You may find that this BYOB 9 is perfect size for your camera, but this will give you an idea of what it looks like with ADD or T7i with various lenses. So appreciate you watching.